it's not normal every day to wake up and all you hear all day about is how your religion is terrible and how you're a, you're a suspect and how you're a cancer and how all this other stuff. When you're young and really impressionable, this stuff is going to it's going to start pressing pressing in on you. You have to be aware. This is real stress, and you have to be strong in your faith. And you can't listen to people make bad arguments. You have to know how to identify bad arguments. When someone says all the stuff that's happening in the world today with ISIS and this San Bernardino and all this Belgium, this is because of the Quran or because of the Hadiths or because of Islam. People in Iraq and Syria were reading the Quran for 1,400 years, and they're reading Hadiths for 1,400 years. And ISIS only started in 2013, and it wasn't started by the Quran. It was started by the U.S.-led invasion of Iraq and the destruction of all the institutions and economy and government of that country. It's not about the religion of Islam. It's not about the scriptures of Islam. Because there's 1.6 billion Muslims in the world. And even if you take the largest number of all the Taliban and all of Boko Haram and all of ISIS and all of these groups, and you add all this together and you divide that by 1.6 billion Muslims, you know the number you get? I calculated 0.006%. 0.006%. Absolutely statistically insignificant. This is the best, single best argument against what you constantly come across. This idea that somehow your religion, something in its original foundational scriptures, is violent. And like a virus, it's going to spread through the Muslim community. It's just not true.